All right, guys, Tactical Minds here, and uh, today's video is going to be about how to sight in your rifle. Before we get into today's video, just to get it out of the way, um, if you like what you see, please uh, like, you know, share, subscribe, hit the bell for the notifications, all that good stuff. Um, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know uh, what you think about this video. Let me know if you guys have any ideas for future videos, and if you want to know what type of uh, setup as far as optics that I'm running on this rifle or just what my rifle setup is in general, let me know in the comment section below and uh, we can talk about it or maybe even do another video about it later. But anyway, today is going to be about how to sight in your rifle. This is going to be more for the novice shooters. Um, for more of you expert mid-range shooters, you guys are probably going to know this information already. And if you don't, it's okay. Nobody's going to know if you watched my little channel on how to do so, right? Just kidding. Anyway, this is going to be about how to sight in your uh, weapon. So a couple of things that we're going to go into with this. And the reason why I'm picking this is uh, because with everything going on today, more and more people are going out there and buying weapons. And, uh, you know, a 223 rifle like this, an AR-15, M4, whatever you want to call it, um, seems to be one of the most popular platforms for people to uh, pick up just because simple ease of use, right? But something that I do see a lot is guys want to buy this rifle and want to go out there and run a $2,000 optic setup on it or something. Um, and they just think that right out of the box, this thing is going to hit what you're aiming at, right? And I've run all different types of optics, okay? Red dots, EOTechs, ACOGs, they all have their own advantages and disadvantages. We could do another video on that later. But like I said, the common misconception is you grab this $2,000 optic, you put it on your rifle, and you think automatically it's going to hit what you're aiming at, right? Two things we talk about, point of aim, point of impact, right? Point of aim is going to be literally just that, right? What point are you aiming at? Wherever you're aiming, what are you aiming to hit, right? Point of impact is going to be where that actual round is going to impact. Where's the bullet going to make impact? Now, a lot of times the bullet's not always going to impact in the exact spot where you're aiming. That's why we sight in our rifle, okay? These things don't come ready out the box a lot of the times. And for most of you, you need to sight this rifle into you, the shooter, because at the end of the day, you're the one using this rifle. If it was me, I don't want to go into a gunfight not knowing that I'm going to be able to hit what I'm aiming at. But anyway, let's get into it, right? So, depending on what type of optic you're running, we're just going to go over mine today, okay? <clears throat> this particular optic right here. This is a long view optic with uh, 14 times magnification and a red dot mounted on top. Now, real quick to get into before we show you exactly how to do it, a couple of things you need to know, right? There's a couple of different types of zeros. Um, most common ones that I work with is a 25 yard zero and a 100 yard zero. 25 yard zero is common if you have a indoor range and that's good. Most indoor ranges go out to 25 yards, right? So what that means is you're going to line up your sights. You're going to go ahead, get them zeroed into 25 yards. Again, I'm going to show you how to do that in a few moments. Get them zeroed into 25 yards, right? That's going to guarantee a 25 yards you're going to hit dead center where you're aiming at. Now that will hold over to about 300 yards. So what happens is the bullet comes out of the barrel, flat, rises, and then it drops, right? So at 300 yards with a 25 yard zero, you're going to hit 25 yards, the round's going to come up, and at about 300 yards, it's going to drop right about down to where you were aiming at initially, right? So that's going to carry you for that. The other most popular one is a 100 yard zero. At 100 yards, um, 100 yards, you're going to be dead on. Between 50 and 25 yards, you're going to pretty much be right about there. Once you start getting out to 250, 200, around those ranges is when you're going to start to see that round drop, and you're going to have to go ahead and adjust for that, right? More on that later. The fact of the matter is, is you need to know what you're picking this rifle up for, right? Are you using this for home defense? What What, what is your primary mission with this weapon platform, okay? So, um, when we talk about zero in the rifle, right? So, what I mean by that is... You're going to aim with your optic, okay? Now, if you have a long view optic, we'll go over that first, okay? Something like this. Most of these scope optics, okay, have these little rings on them. So what you're going to do is you're going to go out to your 25 yards or your 100 yards, right? You're going to shoot four to five rounds, not just one, four to five, because we need to see where you're hitting most, right? So let's say you're hitting low and to the left, okay? These little things on most of these scope optics are going to be your little adjustment rings, right? So you're just going to go ahead you're going to twist these off. These are to protect the adjustments. And you're going to make your adjustments, right? So if you were hitting low and left, we can see here, here is going to be your right and left. And here, oh, yeah, here's going to be your right and left. Here's going to be your up and down, right? So if we were hitting low and to the left, we need to adjust up higher and to the right. So you'll take this, rotate it a few clicks over to the right to bring it over to the right. 
rotate this a few clicks up to bring it up a few clicks and then go ahead go back to that area you were shooting from shoot about another four or five more rounds and see where you're hitting if you're still low into the left adjust more high into the right if you're too high into the right adjust more low into the left you get the concept right you just keep adjusting until that point of impact that bullet hits exactly where you're aiming at now again that's on this particular scope type optic right on a red dot optic like this which is a very common one okay this one here same thing you're going to put that red dot on what you're aiming at and see where you're hitting right low left high right whatever again now on this one you can see here right here you've got a little little dial right here you could use a pen or probably even the tip of a round to do it with but usually a pen or a knife or something but you take this little thing here this is going to adjust to the right and left for you and then this little one up on the top right here is going to adjust your up and down okay again just up and down left right get to where you're hitting at right and like i said the point of impact point of aim all that good stuff and um again depending on what type of zero you're, you want right so again if you want that 25 yard zero if you're using it for like a cqb your home house situation right go ahead put that red dot right at that 25 yard mark go ahead shoot those four to five rounds come back and adjust on the fly something like this a scope optic you might want to go with that 100 yard zero right um it just depends if you have an outdoor range or not the reason why i say the 25 is probably the more popular is most people have indoor ranges where they are not everyone has outdoor ranges but anyway guys that's going to be pretty much it on how to sight in your rifle remember you can buy a two thousand dollar rifle you can buy a two thousand dollar optic okay at the end of the day the rifle is only going to be as good as the shooter behind it okay you need to train with your weapon don't buy this weapon platform take it home lock it up and assume that it's going to work when you need it to work and do what you needed to do when you needed to do it it's not how it works get out train i know it's expensive there's a lot of different uh tools you can use out there today to train with but you got to get out you got to train with your weapon you got to know what to do because when the shit hits the fan i promise you when it comes time to where you actually need to grab this weapon you do not want to be thinking about what to do at that time you want to just have that muscle memory and be able to do it all right so guys get out there and get trained okay anyway thanks again for watching please like comment subscribe all that good stuff okay stay safe stay tactical stay dangerous Get out there and train with your weapon. Thanks again.